this next match will be a qualifier for the King of Kroger Tournament. We are halfway to uh, determining the qualifications, the contenders in that tournament a few months from now. We have Dr. Wozniak, Just Jason, <clears throat> Nick Dragoon, and Cash Money all have qualified. We have four more to go, and this will be our number five here tonight in Texas at Fight for Honor as 2Q fights Jeremy Rose. And the fans here in Texas are getting ready for this next intense action field match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 224 pounds, one half of the Jagan, the total package. And we have 2Q here, the current CKW Chaos Champion. He's had a pretty filled career since he debuted at CKW back at the beginning of Season 1. He's a three-time Tag Team Champion, a two-time Hard Worker Champion, and now a one-time Chaos Champion. And he's one of the top contenders in this company that's on the road to being the first ever CKW Triple Crown Championship. All he needs is a world title, and if he wins this tournament, he has a shot for it. And then over here we got the one and only Jeremy Rose. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 254 pounds, Jeremy Rose. Jeremy Rose has not had the best career as of sorts here in CKW as of late, especially since Season 2 started. He had a pretty tremendous Season 1 when he was part of the 455, had a pretty decent big win at Kroganazza, and the title was stolen. The Chaos Championship was stolen by Nick Dragoon, fighting the first half of the season for that title, winning it back, having top-notch matches around the world during the World Tour. But Jeremy Rose has been kind of quiet as of late. He was qualified for to be the contender in this tournament, and he's fighting for it. And this win, a win here, could mean a lot for him because he was almost the winner of last season's King of Kroger tournament. He was the winner of bracket A, took on Desmond, Des, the winner of bracket B, and had a loss. What if he pulls it back around and wins the next one? It could mean a lot for him, and he'll go to the main event of Kroganazza 2. And here we are, folks. This match is getting going. This match is getting started. These two are ready, willing, and able. The fans here in Texas are ready, willing, and able. Let's get it! And he caught him with an arm. Oh, and a punch to the face. And a knee to the face. And a running clothesline from Jeremy. Gets 2Q on the mat. And he kicks him while he's down. And he just lifts him off the mat for a suplex. And 2Q had enough strength to get out of the ring and get a freaking drop kick that misses. And Jeremy, oh, drops him down. Jeremy can see the career 
flash before his, his eyes here tonight if he could win this match. Both these men could benefit from qualifying for that King of Kroger tournament. We're on the road to the finale of this season. <laughs> a kick to the face and a win here could mean a lot for somebody who never really will win that tournament in the end. And a kick from 2Q. Takes down Jeremy with a back suplex. And now we got 2Q for the crowd here in Texas just sharing. Any fans here don't like him, especially through his time in Dominion. But after Dominion was apparently destroyed, I, I mean, I think he's gotten some more fans of the light. And he gets dropped to the face first, but they're still booing here. And a drop, oh, and a 2Q reversal gets him with a, oh, what the, what the hell was that? He kicked him across the freaking face. With well, a rope break from Jeremy being too close to the ropes. 2Q giving himself some distance. And a reversal punch from... And a reversal... Oh my god, he does it a second time! The fans here in Texas. And look at him, he's just showing off now. To the fans here, there's a lot of fans booing the hell out of 2Q! With a running freaking insecurity kick to the face. Oh my god. <laughs> my god! I didn't expect... And then he gets him with a... Swinging neck breaker! And tries to get the pin. And a reversal from 2Q. Wait, what the hell? What's this? What's with the music going off this time? Like, goddamn! That's... Is that AJ Styles music? What the... Oh, no! No, God, no! Jeremy! He tried to screw over Jeremy with the freaking distraction. No! Look at Q-Q's face! The fans here cheering for Jeremy. He tried to use a distraction to get him to chose the win. Oh god, he does it a third time! Kick to the face. Oh god, no. He's showing off there, but no. Jeremy not gonna back down. Jeremy gets him with the blockbuster! Oh my god, would that be enough to take out 2Q? It looks like Jeremy's a little pissed right now. Trying to be almost being screwed over for that title. Yeah, I think he could tell, especially from the attack from 2Q. That was a plan of distraction by 2Q. And he gets it with a backbreaker! And a kick. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy gets dropped with the neckbreaker. Dropped with the neckbreaker. The fans are on their feet. The fans are on their feet. Gets clothesline outside the ring. And now we got 2Q just sharing. Trying. He, he wants him counted out. He's literally taking the cheap way out as so much as possible. But Jeremy gets back to his feet. Look at 2Q trying to get some distance between him. And a chop from Jeremy sends him into the ropes. And now oh, a reversal. DDT! He tries once again to throw Jeremy over the ropes. Oh my god, he knocks him to the ring. I think 2Q's trying to get a count out here. I don't think he thinks he can take down Jeremy. And he's just taunting here. The fans are on their feet, cheering for Rose, cheering for wanting him to get up. They want to see him win this match. And a kick to the face sends down Jeremy. And a chop. What the hell? He drops him face first! He's checking him out, he's just pissed! Look at TQ's face, he wants him to stay down! He wants him to stay down! Oh god, what the hell? He knocked him down by accident! Oh my god! These two are fighting! 
tooth and nail. DDT a second time in this match. He's telling him he wants him up. <laughs> kicking him while he's down. Guy's kicking that leg. What the? Wait a minute. Big, Big Brad is back! We haven't seen him since the Dominion, since the Wozniak Institution attacked him. What the hell? Oh my god! He's, he's trying to go! He's trying to go! Oh my god! He just distracted 2Q! My god! He got dropped on his head! My god! He's signaling! He's signaling for a swinging neckbreaker to the head after dropping on his head! One! Two! Three! What the hell? Big Brad is back? Did, did Big, Big, did, 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 did Big Brad just literally screw over 2Q's chance of being in the King of Kroger tournament? Is that what this was? He was distracting him and it allowed Jeremy Rose to drop him on his head twice for a pen. What the, what the hell? Even 2Q was wondering why he was there. Swing neck breaker. Here is your winner, Jeremy Rose. Jeremy took advantage. It was an eye for an eye, essentially. Earlier in the match, 2Q tried to do an interfere do a freaking distraction by the Titan Tron. And what happened? It turned around on him. Big Brad literally came out and screwed him out of this match. And Jeremy Rose qualifies for the King of Kroger Tournament. I don't think he really cares how. He's just happy he won it. He's going to fight for that title shot.